So you will be doing your, um, your keynote about embracing the whole gifted child. What can participants expect? Like when they've seen your presentation, what kind of insights will they get? Or what will they take home that they can, they can use in their own environment? Well, uh, recently I was on a task force through NAGC on um, the whole gifted child, and that was when George Betts was leading that up. And I had the opportunity to work with uh, some folks and really dive deep in the, into um, what does this mean? Because there's a lot of talk about the whole child in education, but when you look at the whole gifted child, it's a little bit different in that in gifted, we always think about, oh, the test score. You are gifted based on this test score, and this is a test that we are going to use to decide if you're gifted or not. Gifted students are much more than the test score. And until we understand them, who they are, what they bring to the table, their background, their interests, their feelings, how they perceive themselves in relation to school and educators and the family and all of that, if, we, if the ch children do not I feel understood, accepted for who they are, they're not going to take those academic risks. They're not going to be those high flyers and achieve uh, what they would be able to do if they had people in, a, in, in their lives that did understand them, that got them, that accepted them for who they are. And <clears throat> unfortunately, in our field, most educators have no background in gifted because there's not a required, at least in our country, there's not a requirement for, for teachers to go into te you know, pre-certification to take some oh, coursework in gifted. So it's really on us at, at school administrators to say, hey, wait a minute, there's this group of children that are not being served because they fall outside of the norm. So when we're looking at the whole gifted child, we have to find a way to help embrace them and make them feel like school is a part is is the, we need to make a make we need to set and create an environment where they feel accepted and understood and they feel like school is for them as well not for the other students that that most of us focus on in in in, in our schools unfortunately so we um when when we're looking at the whole gifted child we're trying to find ways to um to look at all those family and school and personal dynamics that come together to help them be as uh to feel feel like school is a place for them where they can thrive and learn